Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Today guys, we'll be doing an awesome video review about a product that everybody should have, dash camera guys. But nowadays, you can pull so many things if something happens on the road, if you get hit or something like that with a dash camera. And we're always switching vehicles guys, so I was looking for one that's easy to install and switch from one vehicle to another and I found this one. Okay, right here by AZ Dome. Uh, this is the model number GS65H. More information will be in the description of the video. First impression guys, you open, you see a nice box, you see the manual right here. So that's good. Okay, camera itself. Okay, let's look at it quick. It says full HD 1080p. Okay, you can see that's the front lens, that's a 150 degree angle and the rear one is the one that records in the vehicle. It's supposed to be 130 degree. We have the box with all the hardware here. We have a long cable, but I believe we will be using the short one because I'm planning on uh, switching them from one vehicle to another. Okay, this is the mount and now we get to the point that how easy it's to switch from one vehicle to another because this one comes with a section cap. It's a really well built section cap. It's not a double sided tape that you have to scrape every time off your windshield and install a new one if you need to switch it. And we have a short cable that we'll be using and those mounts right here are really really cool about the cable. If you install it on the windshield you can feed the cable through those and uh, hold it in place. Also, you have the USB charging, do, do USB charging port right here that comes free with the camera. Okay, we're going to remove all the protective films now from the section cap, uh, from the lens on the front and the one on the rear camera as well. Okay, and we'll be using the short cable today guys uh, and we'll show you how to, how to install the, the mount as well. Okay, the cable plugs in right there in the USB. Uh, you need to get a, a US, uh, SD card as well, micro SD card, and it supports up to 64 G card. Okay, and you need to press it in all the way. I cannot get it with one hand until it clicks. Okay, and it's secured in place. The mount, okay, you just slide it there and you can change the angle and it's twisting as well. You can see a really cool feature. Okay, we are ready to uh, install it and we'll just go ahead and plug it in. We have a USB outlet in the vehicle right here and now we are going to install it right there. Okay, you just twist to the right and it locks the section cap in place. Super, super simple design. Okay guys, we are going to go ahead and uh, turn it on now. Okay, let's see how that thing works now. Okay, you can see we have the double vision now. Okay, one on the front, one on the back. You can see me holding the camera. Okay, and the car as well. So now let's go to the menu quick. Okay, and see, uh, see what kind of features we have in it. Okay, so if you click M for menu right here, you can see you have the different settings here. Okay, you can, uh, you can go to uh, resolution, uh, dual record, that's what we have right now. Okay, let me actually go to resolution and see. Okay, we have it at 1080p right now. Okay, dual record, it's on. You can have a single record if you want. Loop recording, that's the cool feature guys right here. Really cool feature. You never uh, have to worry about not having enough space. Because when you set the loop recording, it's going to loop every three minutes and if your uh, SD card gets full, it deletes the first three minutes and it starts recording again. You can have time-lapse camera, expo exposures, motion detection. Okay, right here, that's really cool as well. It can uh, turn on and off on its own if it detects motion. Let's see if you park your vehicle and somebody hits it, it's going to turn on. And here is the G sensor and park. it even has a parking guard function okay let's turn ours on and the G sensor I usually leave it at medium on my cameras okay like that and uh, you can of course do your uh, beep language date and time okay let me go to language so you know what to expect okay these are the languages that it offers 
Okay, you can see quite a few, quite a few languages. So I'm going to set the time and let's see what the what the quality of the video looks like. Okay, and we we are ready to just uh, mount it quick. Okay. You can see how quick that thing is, it's, it doesn't take much time at all and if you feed the long cable you don't even have to worry about having a cable in the way but I'm just switching it from one vehicle to another.